Anybody else out there has makeup sitting around that you really, really want to try, but you just can't bring yourself to do it because you deem it to be too beautiful? Or is it just me? No, just me. Well, today I'm finally going to try two Pat McGrath products that I have actually had in my possession for several months and just can't seem to bring myself to actually use them because they are that stunning. If you want to watch me create my very first look with the Mothership 8, this is the Divine Rose 2 palette, as well as try on my very first Pat McGrath lipstick, then I hope that you will keep on watching. Hi guys, I'm doing a really exciting video. There is a week-long tag, so to speak, going around. It's a celebration in honor of Dame Pat McGrath, and it is a celebration that was started by three lovely ladies here on YouTube as well as over on Instagram. The three ladies I am talking about are Kara from Beauty and the Frizz, Yadi from Yadi Beauty 81, and Ashley from Dr. Ash and her makeup. I will, of course, go ahead and link all three of their channels, and if I remember also their Instagrams down below. They decided to dedicate this whole entire week to Pat McGrath. They decided to dedicate the whole week to Pat McGrath because her birthday is on Friday, June 11th. If you have been here long enough, know my editing skills are at like negative 57 and a half. Therefore, it takes me weeks usually, or at least days to edit a video. So I don't promise that I will actually have this video up during this week, but I'm filming it during this week and I am enjoying the celebration that's been going on over here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. There have been lots of videos Videos that have been popping out by creators I don't know so I'm discovering a lot of new people and it's been a ton of fun so I have the Pat McGrath Divine Rose 2 palette this this was such a lucky break I won a giveaway that Yadi was doing at the end of last year and then earlier this year I believe sometime in February I received this palette I have opened her many times I have even taken photos which are over on my Instagram. It is very shiny and reflective. I'm sure you guys have seen this palette before, so I'm not going to really go into like what are their shades and swatches and all that because this is a palette from last year. I, there's there's tons of fantastic videos on what are the shades and the swatches and all of that. I just want to actually finally create a look. Of course, I'm going to absolutely have to use Sextra Terrestrial because this is an incredible multi-chrome that just shifts so many different ways that I can't get over it. So I'm thinking of doing something really simple, maybe just use the mattes in the crease and outer V, or maybe I'll use like some of these rich browns and then just pop Sextra Terrestrial all over the lid. As always, you guys know, sometimes in the midst of things, I decide to change my mind at Four more shades that are probably not necessary and as always i will speed through the look because i am really terrible at doing my makeup and talking at the same time but before we get into the look I just wanted to welcome all of you to my channel. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. If you're new, then welcome. My name is Natalia. I am a concert pianist who also happens to absolutely adore makeup and skincare and all things beauty and fashion and accessories and you name it, I'm all over it. And because of that, I let things get out of hand usually very quickly. So I did an entire no by year in 2020 just to reel myself back in and really think through why I have such a shopping problem. This year is my low buy budget year and if you've been with me for the past few months, you probably are already aware that I started off my low buy budget semi on track the first two months. I was doing pretty well and then I did completely fall off the wagon and I am trying little by little to get back on the wagon. I do have a lot of low buy, no buy type content coming up because I am seriously considering going back on actually a full on no buy for at least a couple of months. But I'll save that for another video. So if you are new here, then I just wanted to let you know what to 
expect. I will have a bunch of new products to me because I have purchased a bunch of things in the past couple of months, but it will also be sprinkled in with a lot of products that I have owned for a while. So if that type of balanced content sounds good to you, I really hope that you will consider subscribing and joining our frugal family. Now let's get into some Pat McGrath. All right, now before I get into the actual look, since I am using this for the very first time and um, I've never owned one of these really, really expensive palettes before, I just wanted to like kind of put my two cents in because I know everybody says this is like so heavy duty and so hardcore and such amazing packaging and oh my gosh, yes. This is like a lacquer box. It's like heavy brick. It is incredible and I absolutely adore the engraving on the back. I don't know if it's always the same or if every Mothership palette has like a different wording to it, but this one says Pat McGrath Labs Mothership use without caution, shade throwing and eye ecstasy may result with prolonged use. I had a really big chuckle of that. I think that's so cool. And then of course she engraves all of her logos in the front. This is is actually like indented into the palette. It's not smooth, it is textured. Just one more time to show you guys the palette. The, the mirror is beveled. Mine has like, I don't know how to describe it. It has like condensation maybe? Yeah, my mirror, I would have to clean, like looking straight at it, it looks fine. But at an angle, mine has like almost, I can't, I can't even describe it without blinding you guys, but it almost looks like it has like a film. Sirens, fireworks, squeaky neighbors, we've got it all today. All of it. It's all happening. Yeah, so my palette, I mean, it has almost like a, like a fog to it in some places if you look at an angle, but you don't see it when you look directly at the mirror. So I don't know what that's about. I'm gonna have to do some research, see if maybe it's like weather changes that are going on or what the deal is. I think I already mentioned this earlier in the video, but I have had this now since sometime in February and it's just so gorgeous. Every time I open it and look at it, I'm like, ah, but I can't, like I can't, I can't destroy the beauty. And this birthday celebration is pushing me to finally use it because, you know, at some point you just have to say, well, hold on, but it's it's made to be used and loved. It's not made to just be stared at. I mean, yes, there's nothing wrong, I guess, with just staring at it. I don't know when or if I will ever have another Pat McGrath palette because these are just so out of my price range. So I should just I should love on it, right? I should I should get some joy and use out of it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead, speed through a look together today, and then at the end, I'll also come back and apply lipstick with you guys. And then I would love to hear also what you guys love from Pat McGrath. Do you have the Divine Rose too? Do you have any of her other Mothership palettes? Spill all the tea on this palette and anything else that I need to know Pat McGrath. Not because I'm gonna run out and buy it, but because I just wanna know. I wanna know, I've been learning a lot about her and her background and her history, and I wanna keep on learning because she just seems like a one heck of a lady. And I think that this homage that the ladies are doing is, is really, really special and really, really cool. And while I'm not a Pat McGrath stan like they are, <laughs> I wanted to participate in some way. So I figured this would be the perfect time to try my Pat McGrath palette. So let's get into that look.
and I am back with the finished eye look and with the lip liner on because we are also going to try my very first Pat McGrath lipstick. This is the Lux Trance in 410 Lavish. This was something I got in the same giveaway as the palette. It also has that gorgeous black and gold packaging to match of the palette. And this is what she looks like. She pretty. She is really pretty. I love that luxury brands do like not that straight cut, but that rounded edge a little bit on their lipsticks. I've noticed that my Lisa Eldridge lipstick, which is another product I haven't used because it's too pretty. I noticed that that lipstick has the same little raised rounded edge. All right, am I ready for this? Here we go. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Okay, I can do this. Uh huh. Hmm, she swipes. Nice. Hmm, that is nice. Feels gonna be quite dark on me, being that I'm so pale, but I think I can pull it off. What do you guys think? Is this a color I can wear? It feels nice on the lips, I do have to say. I'm just trying to cover up my lip liner because it is not as dark, of course, as this lipstick because I rarely wear these deeper brown colors. I don't know, I don't feel like they look great on me, but you guys tell me, what do you think? What do we think? What do we think of this whole look? I, okay, first impressions, right? Because this is my first time using Pat McGrath Mothership palettes. I do have another six pan, like one of the old ones that was discontinued a while back. That does not have any of the special shades. So this was the first time and I used, of course, as I said, it's extraterrestrial all over. And then I used the astral pink moon in my inner corner and I was really impressed. The only thing is you do have to either spray it down or do glitter glue or something because, ooh, it, it was quite glittery. I got a little bit of fallout almost immediately, but I guess that's to be expected with some of these special shades because they are just so shiny, so reflective. I really loved this what shade is that let me find the little sheet that's the divine dusk i really loved this divine dusk shade i put that in my outer v a little bit and then uh brought it up into the crease and then to like blend everything out once i was done so smooth and i feel like that shade also has a bit of like a dual chrome or like a sparkly shift to it a little bit it's it looks in the pan like it's going to be just like your standard really beautiful bronzy brown but Mm, she's got a little extra to her. It's it's not your typical bronzy brown. I, I am sure that if I were to compare it to all my other bronzy browns, uh, it won't be the same. I am intrigued. I am intrigued to keep playing with this palette. I can see, I can see why there is a fascination with the dame, with Mother Pat. The lady knows what she's doing. I definitely, definitely am loving this eye look. There are so many dimensions to it. I mean, yes, I know it's a multi-chrome. It's supposed to have different shifts, but there's something about it. There's something about it that is just that little bit of special, like extra special. So I hope that you enjoyed my first foray into these Pat McGrath products. I am so happy I finally tried it. I know like it's, it's ridiculous, right? That we do this to ourselves. We like, look at things and treasure things and miss out on actually enjoying them. So that's that's the takeaway I got from today's video is that I've been missing out for several months because I've just been too afraid to ruin the product. So if you have things in your collection that you keep breathing over and treasuring, just, just bust into them. Just bust into them. You're going to enjoy it that much more. You're going to love them that much more. And with that, happy birthday to Dame Pat McGrath, probably a belated one by the time I post this video. And I am excited to hear your thoughts. I want to know if you are a lover of Pat McGrath, if you've tried anything. Other than that, I hope that you guys are all doing really, really well. Thank you so much for being here, for watching. One more quick reminder to please subscribe if you haven't already. It would mean the world to me. And I hope that you are continuing to stay well and healthy. I hope that you are taking care of yourselves and those around you. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye guys.